In the shadowy world of international trade, a clandestine video has unraveled a gripping tale of intrigue and secrecy, exposing the seizure of a staggering $100 million worth of gold from Niger en route to Dubai. The viral footage has thrust Niger into an unwelcome spotlight, igniting a social media storm that reverberates far beyond its borders. In the midst of this controversy, General Abdul Rahman, Niger's interim president, has wielded a swift and decisive hand, plunging the nation into a tumultuous cascade of events, most notably the suspension of all mining licenses. Responding to the burgeoning controversy, General Abdul Rahman, Niger's interim president, has displayed swift and decisive leadership. Amid public concerns and in light of the viral video, he has taken the remarkable step of suspending all mining licenses in the country. Positioned at a critical juncture in Niger's political timeline, General Abdul Rahman's proactive measures aim to address the situation head on. The suspension of mining licenses serves as a bold initiative, paving the way for a comprehensive investigation into the alleged gold seizure. The economic ramifications of this suspension are not insignificant, given the mining sector's substantial contribution to Niger's revenue and employment. However, General Abdul Rahman emphasizes the necessity of transparency and accountability within the mining sector. Despite potential economic implications, he underscores the importance of responsible and ethical practices to manage the nation's natural resources sustainably. Internationally, the controversy has attracted widespread attention, with countries, organizations, and individuals calling for a thorough and impartial investigation. The incident prompts reflections on transparency, accountability, and ethical standards in the global trade of precious minerals. As the Ethiopian government faces scrutiny regarding security measures and regulatory frameworks, questions arise about preventing such incidents in the future. In response, General Abdul Rahman's government recognizes the importance of addressing the issue in a manner that aligns with national and international expectations for ethical and responsible mining practices. While the suspension of mining licenses may raise concerns about the potential economic impact on Niger, General Abdul Rahman emphasizes that this measure is temporary. The goal is not to stifle economic activity, but to create an environment conducive to responsible mining practices. The government's commitment to conducting a thorough audit indicates a desire to balance economic development and sustainable resource management. However, the question remains, what led to the seizure of gold worth $100 million? The temporary suspension of all mining licenses in Niger, affecting both gold and uranium, is a strategic and comprehensive move by the self-appointed military government. Uranium holds particular significance for Niger, known for substantial global production in the uranium market. Rather than being a reactive measure solely addressing the recent gold seizure incident, this decision is part of a broader plan to overhaul the entire mining sector. The temporary halt in granting new licenses represents a pivotal step in the government's larger effort to conduct a thorough audit and implement substantial reforms within the industry. This measure is aimed at addressing the immediate issue of the intercepted gold, while also facilitating a comprehensive examination of the broader mining industry. A significant move illustrating the government's commitment to accountability is the dismissal of approximately 100 individuals associated with the gold shipment's departure point at Nim Airport. By taking such decisive steps, General Abdul Rahman's government sends a strong message that it will not tolerate any wrongdoing within the mining sector. The dismissal of individuals connected to the Neem Airport, where the gold shipment originated, strategically aims to rectify potential wrongdoings at the source. This aligns with the government's commitment to rooting out corruption, irregularities, or unethical practices within the mining supply chain. The dismissed individuals from NEM Airport will likely undergo further scrutiny as part of the ongoing investigation. The government's commitment to a thorough and impartial review suggests that anyone found guilty of wrongdoing will be held accountable, 
contributing to the overall objective of rectifying and preventing similar incidents in the future. In recent years, Niger has faced significant financial losses attributed to illicit mineral smuggling and unfavorable trade deals negotiated by previous administrations. This clandestine activity not only deprives the nation of much needed revenue, but also damages the integrity of the mining sector. Furthermore, the country has faced additional economic challenges due to unfavorable trade deals negotiated by previous administrations. The interim leadership, led by General Abdul Rahman, has recognized the urgency of addressing these challenges and has taken proactive measures to initiate change. The interim government's decision to suspend mining licenses reflects a commitment to rectifying past mistakes and creating a more sustainable and economically viable mining sector. By addressing these challenges head-on, the government aims to curb financial losses associated with illicit activities and establish a framework that promotes responsible resource management. Anticipation surrounds the comprehensive reforms that may be introduced to foster sustainable and responsible mining practices in Niger. The ongoing audit and overhaul of the mining sector signal a new direction, and the long-term implications will depend on the findings of the sector audit and any subsequent regulatory adjustments implemented by the government. The envisaged reforms may include refining licensing procedures, enhancing regulatory frameworks, strengthening oversight mechanisms, promoting community engagement, and mitigating environmental impacts. The government's commitment to transparency is crucial in rebuilding public trust in the mining sector, attracting investments, and contributing to the nation's economic development. While the anticipation of reforms is high, the collaborative efforts of all stakeholders, including government bodies, industry players, and local communities, will be vital for effective implementation. Effective communication and cooperation are essential to establishing a foundation for the sustainable development of Niger's mining sector. As the country navigates these challenging decisions, there is an opportunity for Niger to emerge stronger and better. Whether Niger is heading in the right direction and how its mining sector can experience improvement will depend on its commitment to implementing and sustaining positive changes. The question of whether the coup in Niger has brought positive changes for the country remains open for discussion in the comment section. Thank you for joining us on Africa Info Hub. Kindly stay informed, share your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe for more nuanced perspectives on Africa's geopolitical landscape.